Hi, Miguel Angel. How Hi, are you? Matia. How are you Fine, doing? Fine, and you? Very well, thank you. So very exciting this year, 40 year anniversary. Yes, yes it is really. Isn't it? Yes. So, um, well, you've been in the company since the very beginning, basically. So how did the whole idea of the expansion, of the global expansion come about? Well, it's interesting this question because uh, when I joined GMV in 1988, it was 100% uh, international. I mean, all the projects we had were, were international with the Penn Space Agency mainly. The first ever project of GMV was an international project. And if we are talking about having people outside the company, uh, most of the people were residing in Germany. So the company was really international in that sense. No? But we didn't have the feeling of being an international company. Probably because we didn't have uh, subsidiaries, we didn't have uh, international settlements as a company. But we felt that we were international in the sense of being different. So you know, I'm sure you've been able to follow, or you were able to follow the expansion quite closely then. Yes, yes. I think the, the, the expansion started uh, much lately uh, once we had started to diversify. Uh, to the to the transportation and to the defense market, uh, well, I mean, very inside this century, is when uh, it was decided that uh, we needed to start to to have uh, subsidiaries and companies uh, outside Spain. So this process came much much later, uh, as uh, as a process that was uh, really planned. I think it was not spontaneous. It was really a, a decision made in, in GMV. And in that sense, um, in terms of subsidiaries, acquisitions and projects, <clears throat> I'm sure you've been involved in plenty of them. <clears throat> so where, uh, what stuck with you most? Which one of them? So where have you worked and in which projects? Uh, I've been very, very much involved in, in the acquisition of Synchromatics in the, in the US. Uh, in California. And that one, I, I have quite a lot of uh, memories. and It is a very interesting pro uh, process, by the way. Yeah. And how do you feel, because I was also involved in the INSEAN acquisition, uh, maybe you recall. Well, yes, you make me recall uh, exciting times, uh, because indeed, um, well, at least to me personally, but certainly not just to me, GMV was uh, already known. Mm -hmm. I recall from my times at university, being an aerospace engineering student, GMV was already the place to be in those times no? for yeah. flight dynamics and other mm -hmm. things. So the fancy things that we as students were, were actually very interested in. So knowing that GMV was going to acquire the company was, of course, an exciting time. Time of change, of course, time of, uh, of new... Um, new horizons in that sense, because mm -hmm. a change from a smaller company to a bigger one is, of course, uh, of course, a reorientation. And did you have the feeling that GMB was already an international company or, or, or you thought of GMB as an Spanish company going international? What, what was the feeling you had about? Well, to be honest, probably we were thinking more of a Spanish company at those times. So yeah. not knowing yet uh, the, the long path that had already been taken and that the internationalization was already well in progress. I think we didn't yeah. know at the time. So yeah. it was, uh, it was a great discovery then to find out uh, we were one step yeah. in, uh, yeah. in that path. And in terms of opportunities, Miguel Angel, what, uh, you've mentioned the challenges, but despite these challenges, there have been plenty of opportunities. So what is, what is your um, main recollection of those? What do you think was the, the main, were the main opportunities? Well, I think the, mes the, the, the main opportunity is, uh, is talent. I think that, that one is key. Uh, I mean, to have uh, the opportunity to uh, acquire or to hire talent outside Spain, to be in the focus of any brilliant guy anywhere in, in the world. And uh, the key takeaways from the uh, global expansion and in internationalization, where do you see those? Well, uh, I think, uh, well, <laughs> I mean, there are many anecdotes in the international process. And some of, one of the lessons I, I have learned during these years is that uh, each country is, is, is a different world. 
Uh, you cannot treat any country as something that you already know. For instance, I'd like to, to ask you a question, Matia. In ITS, we are not doing business in, 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 in Germany so far. Uh, if we were going to focus the, 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 the needed transportation market in Germany, what would be the key components of the German way of doing things that we should learn in advance? What, what do you think? Well, I think um, German in the sense of language itself in some areas might be still the critical thing, the critical one thing. of the critical yeah. things. Because while it is true that we have been working in an in in institutional and hence by nature international market so far, space is our main business space in Germany, um, but it's international with yeah. ESA, UMITSAT and even DLR. Um, in other areas, maybe intelligent transport systems or transport market, uh, the language and um, the necessity to, to demonstrate that you have <coughs> local uh, capabilities, local teams, uh, is uh, just as important or even more important. So I think that mm -hmm. is a key factor. Yes, but I would like to know from your perspective how has been the process of uh, being part of, of, of this international company, of being uh, a key component, uh, you and, and, and your team in Germany, to be a key component of GMB. Well, you have mentioned um, the integration, the challenges of integration, and that is definitely an aspect which uh, requires some attention. It has required some attention. So I see that as an asymptotic process, in a sense, where we get closer and closer, and then finally you reach a mature status. And in terms of the business processes, they are not all of it, but the culture, as you said, I agree that that is a key, key component. And beside the merger, of course, a lot of opportunity has been brought in the sense that projects could be tackled that before were not thinkable in terms of size, in terms of uh, depth also. So there's definitely been a sort of a, a way to expand not just the business side of things, but also in, um, in terms of uh, new things that uh, the employees, the staff, so the core of the company was then able to do and what we could offer them. Uh, I think one, one of the challenges that uh, is still there is the balance between uh, the, the, the international aspect, let's say the nationalities of the different settlements of, uh, or subsidiaries of GMB, and the need to have uh, somehow a, a, a coordinated central strategy. You know, when you talk about products or you talk about services, uh, it is important that the same product or the same service, it, this is something we, we are challenging, how, how we do that. We are going to do a project now, for instance, in, in, in New York with a mixed team of uh, Spanish people and American people working together uh, to deliver a project in the U.S. with most of the product coming from, from Spain, but a lot of value coming from the U.S., so how to balance uh, all that and, and to make that mixed team work together, that's, that's the way I see it. I don't know how, how do you see it, uh, for instance, in, in a space where you are uh, working more closely. Yes, we definitely um, also face similar, similar uh, challenges in that sense, um, which is striking the balance between the global approach. We are one GMV, of course, but sometimes you need to say, uh, emphasize more one aspect or the other, and also bring the teams together, being geographically separated, culturally different uh, elements, uh, and people in the teams. Uh, that is always um, um, making the things very special in that sense. So again, it requires attention, but it always has a great potential, and that's a differentiator for, for the company, I believe. Yeah. It's contributed to the success yeah. of many, yeah. many projects, I, uh, I, I'm yeah. convinced. Yeah. When I look back and, and see what tiny company we were at that time, but we had the feeling that we had an important mission. Right? That is funny. The company was small, but any one of us uh, had the sense that we were working in an in, in interesting project that was going to go very, very far. So, I mean, it seems that was right. <laughs> exactly. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> then uh, the history proved you right, definitely. So, very, very exciting 40 years, I would say. It's a great anniversary this year. Yeah, it is. And uh, a nice time to be in the company. Thank you, Miguel Angel. Thank you, Matia. It has been very interesting, the conversation with you. Absolutely. <laughs> my pleasure.